Welcome to this third video looking at Hyper-V version 3 and the smart paging feature. My name is Paul Gregory. In Windows Server 2008 R2 Microsoft gave us dynamic memory so the ability for memory to be allocated and deallocated from a machine while the virtual machine was running. Windows Server 2012 extends this capability. So looking in Server Manager here we can see my machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM and if we just go into Task Manager quickly we can actually see 3.4 gigabytes of that memory is currently in use. So much of that memory is in use because I actually have a virtual machine running as part of my current installation. So if we go into the Hyper-V Manager we can see that uh, the first virtual machine is running and it's actually configured to use a static amount of memory of 2 gigabytes. It's not actually using the dynamic memory feature. If I go to the second virtual machine and we actually have a look at its settings, we'll see that it's configured to use a startup memory of 10 gigabytes, but also dynamic memory is configured and it can actually shrink down to a minimum of 1 gigabyte of memory in use. So looking at the task manager screen, if we actually start that second virtual machine, we can actually see the memory get allocated by Hyper-V and we can see that that machine is now effectively consuming the 10 gigabytes of memory and if we go to the memory tab we can see that memory has actually been allocated. Now it's going to take a few seconds for the virtual machine to actually start up but when it starts up in the integration services load um, potentially if there is memory pressure on the machine if the virtual machine is not actually requiring all 10 gigabytes of memory some of that 10 gigabytes can be taken away from, from the system. So hopefully we'll see the virtual machine uh, boot at this moment in time. One of the things that becomes a bit of a problem in this scenario though is if we are under intense memory pressures and we've got a machine that has a high startup RAM figure like my machine of 10 gigabytes um, but a low minimum memory figure. Okay. So we can see now in the memory statistics that actually the memory requirement is quite low only uh, 700 megabytes even though we've got 10 gig allocated to it. If we look at my third virtual machine you can see that requires 4 gig of RAM statically allocated so I don't have enough memory left in the machine. So if I go to start that virtual machine hopefully what we should see is the, is the dynamic memory kick in so we can actually see that it actually squeezes the memory for my second virtual machine down and it's actually squeezed it right the way down to one gigabyte basically it doesn't need all that memory it's not consuming it so we're going to take it away from it so we're now in a situation where I've got three virtual machines running and obviously the third virtual machine is just starting up but the problem is I've got the memory Hyper-V's consuming I've got the memory my first virtual machines con consuming and I've got the memory my second virtual machines uh, my, my third virtual machines consuming so effectively I've got um, you know six and a half to seven gigabytes of memory being consumed um, just between those three objects not including the second virtual machine so one of the problems I've now got is if I was to try and restart that second virtual machine there's not 10 gigabytes of memory in the system for the memory that it needs so if I actually try to restart the virtual machine what actually happens is Hyper-V tries to get any memory from any other virtual machines that it can and because my other virtual machines are configured for static memory it can't take memory away from those so the only thing it can do to ensure that the this machine can be restarted successfully is it can actually leverage some disk swap file for the purpose of actually being able to start up this virtual machine. So smart paging allows me allows a virtual machine to actually consume disk space as RAM only while it's booting. So it is important to be aware this is a very unique scenario. Smart paging will not come into effect if I was to shut this machine down and effectively power it off and then try to start it again. It only comes into effect because the machine is restarting. So I've hit the restart option now to hopefully demonstrate uh, smart paging. So we'll obviously press OK. So that's why I didn't obviously use the Hyper-V tools because obviously that would only just let me shut it down. So when we actually bring the machine down, we're now trying to actually retrieve memory from other places. So you can see we've actually had to go into paging mode. So you can see the memory status is now sitting at paging. Okay. 
So obviously the virtual machine is going to boot a little bit um, because we're actually swapping elements out to disk. But as soon as the actual virtual machine has restarted and actually come online, the memory drivers, the blue memory drivers inside the virtual machine, will squeeze the memory requirements for that virtual machine down so that it will actually be able to remove the use of that paging file. So this is just a, a temporary feature that we have while virtual machines are rebooting and the system is under memory pressure so we can't allocate enough RAM specifically for the virtual machine. So this obviously could be scenarios where we've got um, virtual desktop infrastructure where we might actually configure machines with the ability to actually have uh, significant memory when they start up so they boot fast but actually uh, then uh, minimize the memory they might use during during the normal operations or we might have specific server solutions where again to actually get that machine started quickly we actually give it a lot more memory than potentially um, that it needs to actually run during most of its uh, operational hours so hopefully we should be getting fairly close to the all the memory drivers loading obviously you've got to wait for obviously all the services to come up inside the machine with the integration services as well and we should actually see that the memory status will go from paging and we'll actually have the sort of normal memory statistics in in the book so as we can see now it now has actually worked out what the memory demand for the virtual machine is so just over the uh, 700 megabytes of memory so the system will then be going through the process of actually reclaiming the memory back from the system and actually get rid, get rid of that paging file that's actually sort of currently in use. So we should be quite close to the completion of that activity. So we can see the virtual machines up and obviously we could sign into the virtual machine. So the virtual machine's all operational. And if we just review the memory information, you can now actually see the memory has basically been squeezed down to the assigned memory. Um, and basically the memory status is now OK, indicating that the, about the bit of memory that was missing, e.g. the sort of 7 and a bit gigabytes to the 10 gigabytes, is no longer being consumed by a page file. Thank you very much for watching this video. On the uh, summary slide at the end are my contact details. Please feel free to keep in touch. Thank you. Goodbye.